Hello everyone, I am Manish and this is part 18. In this session, we will see event filter object. So basically we will see what it is and what its advantage. So before starting, let me tell you how it works. So in SAP Business One application, by default, the UI API gets all event triggers by the SAP Business One add-on application. Most of these events may not be useful to your add-on application and handling all of them is very costly in terms of performance. So filtering unnecessary events save a lot of processing time. Hence we should handle only required events and ignore the rest of events. So let's start. So these are the four steps we are going to use to filter the events on the form. The first step is to create the collection object of event filters and in second step we will define the necessary event which will be trigger on the form and then we are defining the form or form type and in third step we are going to repeat the second step with a different e event type and in fourth step we are going to activate the collection of filtered event with the help of application.setfilter function so now come to the code part and we'll see how we can add this in our code so in code i'm going to write my first step This part I'm going to write inside a function so that you can call the function anywhere. In second step we are going to define an event this is the enum here you can select an event necessary event you want to filter and then add the form on which you want load event there are two function variant of uh, adding this add and the second one is add ex add function takes only integer type of parameter and add ex will take string so we will use add ex because our form type x in string format so we can take it Sim similarly you can replicate it with a different event type only necessary event you can do this is recommendation if you not require there are various types of event which UI API get triggered 
so you can see here but you will only add the necessary event you want on the form like I'm doing because I have used this event on the form so I will only add this one this one I'm not going to use these events because I'm not using this one so we have completed with our third step now we will activate the collection of filtered event in our application object with the help of set filter function so we have done it done with it so let me call this before registering the event in our application now let me run this application so now you can see everything is working as usual because the choose from list event we have registered with event filter object so it is working fine here you can also see so you can see this has been done on validate event it's all also working so these are the events we i have required and i have filtered these events so that only these events can work and rest of the events will not trigger so in this way it will save lots of processing time so basically how you will identify it is working or not event filter object working or not let me comment one of the event and we'll see that event will not work so come to the code part and i'm going to comment this this line these lines so once you will unregister this event it will not work with your form i'm going to unregister validate event and choose from list event now run the application and we'll see the changes So here I am going to select you can see you are not able to select because this event is not working basically because we have unregistered it with a from the filter event you can see here is also not working and here I have a validation event it should be multiply with unit price but it's not working you can see so in this way we have seen this is working now come to the code and similarly you can add here your another form on which you want to trigger this event suppose your another form type is xyz you can write here 
x y z so this load event form data load event will work for your second form also similarly here if you want to work to trigger item press event for second form you can add your second form inside this suppose you want you don't want to click event on your second form you will not add here but you want to add menu click event on your second form you can add this one here so in this way we are registering the forms with event filter objects thank you for watching if you have any queries related this you can put a comment i will try to resolve it thanks for watching